Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Virgos. And special hello to the new Virgo on my team. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. I cannot say enough about Virgos. I really, really cannot, besides the fact that people love that you all are you all are very conscientious, you all pay attention to detail. Very, very special people to this universe, very special spirits to this universe. Um, and so I want you all to get into practice of because you all are divine feminine energies. You all are very magnetic. You all are very receptive, right? I want you all to, and you're very nurturing. Your energy is cyclic. If your sun sign is a Virgo, your energy is cyclic. It doesn't matter if you identify as a man or a woman. People are drawn to Virgos. They are drawn to divine feminine signs, you being one. So you got to make sure Virgos that you allow the right people to attach themselves to you. People who know that they are gods, just like you know that you are gods, right? And so because you all are so nice, because you all are so intelligent, analytical, honest, reliable, you all are perfectionist, you all are loyal, you're kind, you're hardworking and very practical people, that kind part is what sometimes allow, drags people in, not drags people in, attracts people. That's the right word, attracts certain spirits. But you got to make sure that you don't allow their space to um, overlap into yours. Really makes you seem like you're critical, judgmental, old school, fussy, or even slow to move. It's something about being in the presence of spirits that are not on your frequency. People who have chosen to vibrate low because you all choose to vibrate high. People who have chosen to vibrate low that really disrupts your flow of energy. So let me give you an example. If you are having a tough time in the, at, at home, um, don't allow it to filter over into your job in any way, shape, form, or fashion because you all have way too much to offer to the universe um, to allow something that's going on at home to affect your personal, I mean, uh, your, your professional life. And then vice versa. If you are on a job where people are continuously not showing you any appreciation, they're not giving you any kudos or not giving you any high vibrational energy they are continuously giving you low vibrational energy then don't allow that don't take that home to your family you know what i'm saying you have the ability um as a virgo to balance your energies out right so when you go into hermit mode start thinking okay if i'm not appreciated here or here then I need to start showing my self-appreciation because it could end up being a re really tricky situation when you allow things to filter over from one part of your life to the other. So let's get into your reading. We're going to be talking about the numbers 6, 7, 8, and 9 on today and how powerful they are. And of course, when we talk about numbers, I'm not necessarily talking about life path or birth code numbers. I'm talking about the vibration of the number itself. If you go back and you watch my video for the numbers four and five, you'll see what I'm talking about for an example, because I use the number one as an example, even though I'm talking about the numbers four and five, but just to give you an idea when I'm talking about the vibration of numbers, okay? Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to run this back again. Virgos are practical. You all are hardworking. You all are kind. You're loyal. You all are perfectionist. You all are reliable. You all are honest. You're analytical and you are intelligent. You all are also a mutable sign. So sometimes Virgos, you allow people to stay in your energy space a little bit too long and those people end up contaminating you, right? And then they try to turn around and accuse you all of doing something, trying to project who they are onto you. You got to stop doing that, Virgos, because, and don't be timid about it. There are some people who should have never been in your energy space to begin with. That's why we have, into, or we all have intuition. But when you find that somebody has overstayed their welcome in your house, I'm talking about your, in your space, right? It's kind of like when you physically allow, welcome to, you know, invite somebody over to your house. You, yeah, we've all had those relatives, we, or friends, we invite them over to our house and they just don't know when to leave. And the conversation starts going downhill. You know, it's like, okay, we don't have anything else to talk about. Now we're starting to talk about some nonsense, some low vibrational energy. It's the same thing when we're talking about our spirit houses. We don't want people to stay in our space too long that we're not on the same frequency with. So it's okay to tell that person, hey, okay, you know, time to go. Yes, it's time to go. Let's get into your reading. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Virgos as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions. And spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful Virgos? 
I hope you all are having a great day today. I know that you are because that's the intention you set when you woke up today, right, Virgos? I know you were having a great day. I know that you all are. I know that you all are. Yes. Nothing is going to break your concentration, Virgos, and knowing how fantastic you all are as spirits. You all are very fantastic spirits. And so make sure you continue to surround yourself or allow certain people to attract themselves to you where you all are giving and receiving the same vibrational energy, right? Good vibrations, high vibrations. You all are just, people are giving you kudos and giving you great feedback and that kind of thing. Because guess what? It comes in different ways. It comes back in different forms. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what these cards have to say. Again, we're going to be talking about the number six through nine. We're going to be talking about the number six through nine. And we have oracle cards. So I will be pulling an oracle card at the end of this reading. Yes, yes, yes. So we have the Hierophant card. I'm going to put this right here. Like I said, this is uh, Taurus's card, right? You're earth signs, so you all are very logical thinkers. You're very logical thinker. You all are trustworthy and you are very trustworthy and generous. You all are determined, understanding, kind, organized, patient, reliable, practical, devoted, responsible, and stable. This is who you all are. Whether you have Taurus in your chart, your natal chart, or you have been influenced by a Taurus. It could have been a mom, a dad, a cousin, somebody in your life who was a Taurus, but you pulled from their high vibration, right? So, yes. In contrast, if you were in a situation with a Taurus that chose to vibrate low, Tauruses that vibrate low are jealous, lazy, stubborn, dependent, imbalanced, materialistic, and possessive. That's a low vibrating Taurus, right? So if you were in a relationship with a Taurus in, in this particular spread here, you'll never get back with them again. Never get back with them again. This person could have had Taurus somewhere in their chart, but they could have also had water in their chart. Or you could have water in your chart, but nevertheless, you're like, I wouldn't get back together with them. Even if I saw pigs flying through the sky, I wouldn't get back together with them. We're just not compatible. We're on this, we're not on the same frequency. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. So this has a whole lot to do with the Taurus that you're like, you know what? Even if it's their sun sign, moon, rising, Venus, it doesn't matter where it is in their chart. I'm not getting back together with them. They can forget it. They can forget it, forget it, forget it. Just, just no chance of ever coming back. Let's pick up the rest of these cards and see what the rest of these cards have to say. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. So you all are, like I said, you're very generous, right? Very, very generous. You're loyal. You're hardworking. You're practical. You're honest. You all are perfectionist. You're analytical. You're intelligent. All these wonderful things that you all are. And that's why people are drawn to Virgos. Yes. You all have a lot. You genuinely do care about people. So when you let a person stay in your energy space who does not appreciate you long enough, if you let them stay in your space too long, they overstay their welcome, you tend to put on blinders because you're hurt, right? You're like, you know what? I'm just going to nose to the ground. I'm just going to work, work, work. I'm going to make my millions, my trillions, my billions of dollars. And I'm just going to keep love out of my life. Romantic love, that is. Because, of course, but remember, when you have these blinders on, you're not even looking at it. It's like, you know what? I would never date that spirit again. Even if you had another person to come in your life with the same sign, it will cause you to pause and say, hold on for a second. Now, I dated a person of this sign, and they were horrible. The relationship just did not work out. I let them stay in my space too long, but I know exactly what to look out for the next time, right? So I'm going to free myself, remove these blinders, so I can see, continue seeing with my spiritual eyes, the good in people. That only come, This right here only comes when you allow somebody to stay in your energy space too long because they take advantage of your kindness. They really take advantage of your kindness. They see it as a weakness, right? And Virgos are not weak by any stretch of the imagination. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Also, it causes you to be like this. I'm tempted to go back to them, but I'm not really sure because I don't trust them. They show me time and time and time again that they can't be trusted. That kind of energy, right? And it gets to a point, Virgo, where you start to say, I don't even trust myself. 
this spread right here, this story right here is a perfect example of somebody allowing their personal life to interfere with every other area of their lives because you start to even start distrusting yourself. Like, uh, I know that person's a snake. I let them slither away. So now I don't necessarily, even though I'm tempted, I, I don't really know what to do because, I mean, I love them, but I know I can't, can't trust them. And, and meanwhile, look at all these prospects. Moving forward, look at all these prospects. But this right here, this one right here in the background, lets you know you're still thinking of, thinking of them in the back of your mind, even though you have all these things that lie ahead for you. Yeah. So, Virgo, like I said, time to let go of people in your life. And I'm talking about their energy. Even though physically you may say, I would never let that person into my life. Even if I saw a pig fly by my window, I wouldn't let them in my life. You're still kind of allowing them to stay in your energy space, their energy to stay in your space because you're thinking about them. Mm, maybe I'm tempted. Mm, mm, mm. No, no, no. You got to cut them off altogether because if not, you're going to be missing out on all the wonderful things that right, lie right before you. Yeah. We don't want you to miss out on anything because you know what? In a relationship with them, you don't even trust them. You can't even rest well without them. It's this right here, it lets me know that you're not resting well at all. All the four swords mean is rest. That right here. But when you got all this activity going on and you see your heart right here, they're not lying beside you. You're like, okay, I'm trying to sleep. I really wish they were here. But then again, every time I deal with them, there's always some drama. This is a low vibrating energy in your life. And you, for some, to some degree, and they have a lot of internal conflict, a lot of internal conflict. That's actually causing you to question your identity, your power and your identity, causing you to question yourself. That's really, really sad, Virgo, because they will mess up every single area of your life. All you have to do is get away from them. And I'm talking about in spirit, body, and mind. Get as far away from them as possible so that every other part of your life can be, all kinds of things can be released to you from the universe. As soon as you ascend, I mean completely ascend, they will fall off. When I tell you, I'm telling you, I'm trying to help you, they will fall off. They will fall right out of range. They'll fall out of range. Everybody around you has been like, uh, nah, wrong person. You all are extremely compassionate. You deeply care about people. So that part where people think, oh, Virgos don't have a sensitivity switch, that is absolutely not true. It is because you all are so magnetic, people are drawn to you. But when you have the wrong people in your space, that's the impression that it gives, that you all don't have a sensitivity switch. Because you all are so busy trying to figure out, this is the perfectionist part. You all are so busy trying to figure out where this side of you went wrong, this part of your relationship went wrong, that it's kind of sort of feels like it's neglecting the other side of your relationship, your work life or your personal life or whatever. And people are like, well, gosh, did this person even notice? Yeah, you all are extremely conscientious. But when you have a whole bunch of drama going on, it's really, kind of, that's anybody, not just you Virgos, that's anybody. It's affecting every area of your life. And because I know that you all are money magnets, it's not just money for you. You all want to help the whole world. This person right here that has just been difficult and a challenge and everything, they're a distraction in your life. They are slowing up the process. They're slowing up the process. You all are extremely compassionate people. And you, like I said, you really care about people. You all are really, really loyal. So, yeah. And... <clears throat> When you remove them from your life, this is, see this person right here, their foot is up, they're anticipating some kind of progress, some kind of expansion, right? This is why I'm telling you, um, Virgos, this is why I'm suggesting, not telling you. This is why I'm suggesting to you all that you all just get them out of your, your energy space, completely get them out of your energy space. You don't, they don't deserve you. They don't know who they are. They have a lot of internal conflict. It's just a mess. Yes. And here we go. We have the Knight of Wands. Yes. So let me tell you something about this, the Knight of Wands, right? This person is ambitious. This person is a risk taker. They are action oriented, right? Uh-huh. This person could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius somewhere in their chart, but they are very ambitious. They're a risk taker. They're action oriented. But when you look at them with, their, with your spiritual eye, they have the gift of gab, but they're always bragging. I hope you hear me, Virgos. They are self-assured, but they are vain. They are enthusiastic, but they make a bunch of empty promises. 
that's who they are and this is what this is this is the disruption in your life yeah they they something else they are something else people love them they love them for the fact that they can they can talk people under the table great 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 but what they're bringing into your world is a bunch of chaos and confusion, right? Let's talk about the number six for just a second. Number six, and we talk about the vibration of the number six. Number six are givers. Number six are deeply compassionate, loving, and responsible. Number six are affectionate, natural nurturers, very supportive. They exude warmth, compassion, and wisdom. They're also healers. They are mentors and advisors, right? Because remember when I was saying, even if we're not talking, even if we're not talking about life path numbers or birth code numbers. On the sixth of a month, a person could say um, those wonderful things to you. Oh, you're such a nurturer. You're just a natural this and that and so on and so forth. But of course, if you don't know what the, the vibration of numbers carry, then it'll go right over your head, right? The number seven, you hear people talk about lucky seven, lucky seven, lucky, lucky, lucky seven. Sevens need peace of mind and quiet um, and they sort of tend to be more reserved. Number sevens are also thinkers and they're idealists who are selective, analytical, and scientific. Number sevens are also people who look up to you because of your wisdom and knowledge. And so people really do look up to um, Virgos because of their wisdom and knowledge and the fact that you all are so conscientious. And like I said, you all are perfectionists. So you have an audience right there before you. You don't have to deal with someone who chooses to vibrate on a low frequency, whether it be in your love life, your family life, your friendships, or even in the workplace. You really, really don't have to. Number eights are also, number eights are gifted with natural leadership and have excellent, they're excellent in business, money matters, and management. Number eights are very, very generous. Also, number eights have endurance and stamina of an athlete. That's what I'm talking about with the loyalty piece. You all don't have to be loyal to people who create a bunch of chaos, confusion, and drama in your life just for the sake of saying, hey, I've been with this person for 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 20, 30 years or whatever. If they are constantly dragging you down, you don't have to keep making them your charity case. You can just release them by ascending higher so that your thoughts can be a whole lot more structured and clear. So yeah, they may bring some good things into your life, but the amount of drama that they bring into your life is really not worth it. It just puts you right back at zero, right? It just one washes out the other. Let's pull out an um, Oracle card and then we're gonna talk about the number nine. Let's see what these Oracle cards have to say. Yeah, this is about you knowing who you are and what you offer to the universe, Virgo. You don't have time for, you know, messy love situation because that's what this is, this spread of cards, right? So I, I tossed in a little thing about work and home and all that. But this right here is a love situation. You're in, somebody's in a relationship with somebody who just brings a bunch of drama. And so your, your mouth is saying, I wouldn't get back together with them even if I saw pigs fly, but your spirit is still thinking about them and still somewhat attached to them once one, you know, one um to some degree. And um, but it's not worth it because it's causing it's causing you to be to wear blindfolds in other areas of your life. But there are really people out there who are a, attracted to you, and I'm not talking about just this love attraction, I'm talking about good people who really, really want to sow into your life. People who are just, you know, who genuinely don't want anything from you. They don't, they're not trying to take anything from you. They just really are trying to add to your life. That's new friends, new soul tribe, you know, family members that you hadn't talked to in a long time. They just want to bring nothing but goodness and cheer in your life. But because this part of your life, this is, look, that's why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you. Time to focus. Time to focus. And I'm talking about laser focus on you, Virgo. Laser focus on you. You need to clear away all that negative energy. I'm serious. Clear away all the negative energy. I mean, be loyal to yourself first and foremost. I know you all are very, very loyal signs, but now it's time to be loyal to yourself. You don't need people around you who constantly brings a bunch of mess. Just just constantly just bringing a bunch of mess. You, Your ruling sign is, I mean, your ruling planet is Mercury. That's the planet of communication and thinking. So, hey, there's nothing wrong with tapping into your divine masculine energy and taking action. Because again, by default, you all are divine feminine. So you all are nurturers. You show your strength through your inner reserve. Now it's time to tap into that other side of your duality and say, you know what? 
I am my own twin flame because Gemini's are the symbol for Gemini's are twins. So you're saying I am my own twin flame. I don't really need you as a twin flame because I'm my own twin flame. I don't need you to balance out my energies. I know how to balance out my own energy because I know who I am. Because allowing somebody to stay in your energy space a little bit too long, Virgos, all of a sudden you start to take on their negative characteristics you do they're low vibrating characteristic and it really affects every area of your life it really does let's talk about the number nine the number nine means that you have a lightning bolt insight intuition downloads that come out of the blue and they light up your mind so let's say for instance tomorrow all of a sudden you have lightning bolt insults okay in in insight excuse me that's say insults yes insight so let's say tomorrow today's the eighth let's talk about the the ninth tomorrow is the ninth Right. And that's all of a sudden you just have this like epiphany, like, you know what? I do better without them. I notice that when they're not in my space, I think a lot clearer. I don't have a whole bunch of drama. You know, I don't have a whole lot of unnecessary things being um, um, being attracted to me. Like sometimes when you have the wrong people in your energy space, it brings on all kinds of drama, even when they're physically not around you because they're still affecting your energy space. So yeah, I need you all to focus Virgos, like focus, like never before laser focus and get certain spirits out of your life. And I'm talking about even the essence of them, their energy out of your life, just completely cut them off because it's time for you all to soar, make the kind of money that you all, you, that you couldn't even imagine making. And also, uh, so that you can get out there and start helping people like all over the world. Cause that's what you all were put here to do is like really change the world. And so you can't do that when you are messing with, you allowing certain types of spirits to remain in your life that really should not have, they overstayed their welcome. So it's time to remove them like immediately. That's the action that you want to take Virgos. Have a fantastic day. But then again, I know that you are because that's the intention you set when you woke up today. Have a great day Virgos. Bye.